Hey guys, Tech Mitchell with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to move your data from an old iPhone to a new iPhone. Here I have the iPhone 14 Pro and we're going to move our data over to the iPhone 15 Pro. Now we're going to show you a couple different ways to move your data first without a computer and then later on with a computer, which works the best, but you can also do the method that we're going to show you. So let's get started. So first thing is you need to start a backup on your old iPhone. So how do you do a backup? Well, you want to do iCloud backup by simply going into a setting of your iPhone click on your Apple ID account here and then go to iCloud and then here we have our iCloud backup you want to click on that and make sure that you have a latest backup on your iPhone here it will tell you the last time you backed up your device and you want to click on a backup now and usually it will take about a couple minutes to even maybe 10-15 minutes depending on how much data needs to be backed up and once you're backed up you should get a successful backup and that means you're ready to back up to your new iPhone. Now, for the computer part, you also want to back it up to a computer if you're going to do a computer backup, which we'll explain in the later part of the video. So after you've done a backup there, it's time to go ahead and move over to the new iPhone that you want to move your data over to. So of course, go ahead and turn it on for the new iPhone 15. You just press this button to turn it on. Once you're turned on, you should be screened like this. And once you are there, you can select the language here and then the region, the country right and then hit continue and then the quick start should pick up that you have a device close by so there is that apple makes it really easy for you to be able to detect the device near you so you can just close it and maybe reopen it see if it detects it now if it doesn't detect it that's fine we just need to simply click on it now the first thing you want to do is of course connect your new iphone to the wi-fi that you're connected to here so i'm going to connect to the same wi-fi it makes the most sense so i'm going to enter the password for the wi-fi here okay so once you enter your wi-fi password just hit join here and after that it's saying it's going to take a few minutes to activate but should be quicker than that Alrighty, so let's continue here on data and privacy and then of course set it up for myself here now you can set up face id but when we move the face id over it'll set it up so you can hit later here passcode you, same thing you don't have to set it up because when we move the data over it'll also move over the passcode so i'll hit continue here and here are the options to move your data over here as i mentioned the one way to do it is icloud backup that's why we went to the setting here and did a backup there and then you could also do it from another phone when they're side by side a PC or MacBook which we'll show you in the later part and even move data from Android which is allowed. So here the simplest way like iCloud backup what will happen is you'll sign into your iCloud account here right you put your information so the same exact Apple ID that you're using on the old phone this exact one which is listed up top here again to go back here it's listed right here same account and password to do a backup that way. Now if you don't want to do it that way, you can also do it from another phone, which is another option here. In that case, again, when you hold the phone here, it should pick up the other phone. So let's see if it picks it up. Continue. And if it doesn't pick it up, you might have to close, lock both of the phones by hitting the side button here, just like that. And then open it up and see if it detects it. And as you can see here, it detects it. And we can hit continue here to set it up. And it will begin the process to set up the phone and all we need to do is simply hold or again as you can see here we can hold our phone old phone to the new phone and with the camera here it's gonna scan that and it will begin the process to move everything over now as you can see here it's a setup for me you can do that here and again you can set up face ID or you can set up later same exact thing we're gonna do here don't transfer and then as you can see here again the data you can transfer from your iPhone or from your iCloud now as you can see here each option here as it says the iCloud will take about 15 minutes and then for the other transfer right from iPhone transfer it could take between 5 to 10 minutes so try the iCloud option or try the other one whatever option is there is other options available to do a transfer as well but those are the two quickest ways that you can get your information over to new iPhone. As you can see here, if you did that, and it might ask you to enter your Apple ID password, so go ahead and enter your Apple ID password. And once you enter your Apple ID password, just click on sign in right there. And as you can see, it's starting to sign things over. We're gonna hit agree to the terms and condition. And since we're signing into our iCloud, everything that we backed up to our iCloud, things like photos, videos, contacts, all that information, 
as you can see here, can be moved over. And as you can see here, when you're ready to come back to enjoy your phone, it can just do this. So we'll just hit done here. And we can start the process to transfer everything over. Again, same exact concept here. You can use the iCloud backup. Like I said, if you do that, it'll give you the option to select the different backups that we did here. So we can pick one from the existing backup or a different backup as well. All right, now this method is if you want to use a computer, which I think is the best way to back up your data and transfer it over because it moves things like your apps as well in addition to your other data. So in order to do that, first thing you need to do is if you have a newer MacBook, you can use the Finder app, which I opened up here so I can connect my phone. But if you don't have a MacBook that's newer or if you have a PC, you need to download this same this program that's free from Apple. It's called iTunes. You can go ahead and click on it and then download the version that you have, which is going to work exactly the way this Finder works. And I'll show you how you do that. So you take your old phone and we need to do a backup here. So connect your old phone to your computer using the cable and then you're going to connect it, right? So once you connect it to your computer, right, it's going to ask you, do you want to install the new update? Of course, you want to update your phone because the new version on the new phone will have a new update. But I'm not going to do it just because I can um, go ahead and show you the other process. You're going to click on your phone here and iTunes, same exact setup. It's going to show up with your phone once you connect it and trust it with your computer. Now, the important here way to back up is you're going to just click on backup now right here where it says backup now, right? And it will give you exact same exact thing where you can, you don't, if you want to encrypt it, you can, but usually you don't need to. Either way works and it will start doing a backup here as you can see here. Wait till this backup process completes. And when the backup process completes, we can unplug the phone. It will tell you when that backup successfully happens as well. As you can see here, it's starting to back up my data, which is good, right? We're going to wait till the backup finish on the computer. So they can see here it's backing up. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to back up, so you do have to be patient during this process while this backup is happening. And also remember, if you haven't, make sure your phone, the new phone that you're going to do because it has a new version of the update, you can also update the software on your iPhone through this method. So make sure your phone is up to date as the both of the iOS version has to match up. So as you can see here, it's backing up my phone here, the old one, the iPhone 14 Pro, before I can move it to the 15 here and it's still backing up as you can see here the progress bar and finally the backup is complete as you can see here we have backed up at the timestamp here now in order to move the data over i unplug this one right and once you unplug it we need to go ahead and plug the new iphone so what i'll do is take my usb c end of the new cable and then also plug it into my macbook and same exact thing you can follow but once I connect to this one, again, open it up. Again, same exact thing. If you need to update the software, you can. And you're going to click on iPhone again. And then this time, what you'll do is where it says restore from this backup, and you'll select the backup that you have. And this is the latest one we did. All we'll do is hit continue. And this will start the restore process. So that will back, everything that we backed up will be restored onto our new phone. Now this process can take between five to 10 minutes. Just a quick update after about maybe two minutes or so, the iPhone went from a restore screen to Apple logo. As you can see here, it's starting to install the application and the backup file onto the new iPhone, which is good. And you can be patient. It's asking me if I want to update, install the software. You can if you want, but you don't have to. Finally, it's giving me the hello screen. I hit, as you can see here, restoration. Uh, pretty much restore has been complete. The apps and data will continue downloading the background. Let continue to connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, so we'll connect to our Wi-Fi here. We connected it before, but we'll connect it again one more time. So enter my Wi-Fi password. I'll hit join, and it's joining the network here. And again, we're going to set up your face ID and then passcode as well. I didn't have face ID or passcode on the old phone, so it's making me do that again. But if you had it already, it will already work for you. Now you can enter your Apple ID again here so the process continues or you can always come back and set up later in the skip. So I'm just going to skip this and then location services of course pick your preference and then other stuff you just hit continue continue 
And then the new iPhone 15 Pro, for example, has that new action button, which you can customize. I'm just not going to do it. Slide to power off. And as you can see here, now I have brought over all my data from the old phone to the new iPhone. As you can see here, things are all loaded here. And just to give you an idea of the old one that I have here, and things have been moved over to the new iPhone. And once everything has been successfully moved over, you verify everything, you are ready to even re factory reset this old phone and it won't affect the new phone if you're looking to trade it and sell it, give it away or whatever you do with your old iPhone. So that's how you move your data over from your old iPhone to the new iPhone in 2024 in the latest updated version. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.